Hi everyone, Spring here with a fairy loot unboxing. This is March's box. I'm a little bit late because I've still been recovering from having COVID. So you've probably seen what's already in this box, but I'm going to share mine anyway because I've been really slack at doing that. So I did open this up at the time it came and I have to say it's, it's quite a nice little box. I was pleasantly surprised by it, which is really nice. So let's just get the MacGuffins out. All right, this month's box was Threads of Fate. Okay, so I did know what the book was going to be again, and it's a book that was already on my radar that I did want already. So first up, the first item is this gorgeous tin. I love the colouring. That's probably not coming up great on the camera here. But it's another one of those like tea caddy tins or, you know, TBR jar tins. But this is inspired by the book in the box. And the quote says, don't chase fate, let fate chase you. And that's by Axie O. So you'll probably already guess what the book is from this tin. I love these tins though. These are fantastic. Next up we have some Raven Cycle stickers. I'm not a stickers person, so this might have to go to a friend, but there we go. I also haven't read this fandom, so if I was Gavin right now, I'd probably be taking a shot, but I'm not. We have a pack of playing cards. These are Threads of Fate named, and the fandoms in here, I haven't opened this yet, but the fandoms in here are inspired by Only a Monster, which was January's fairy loot box. Uh, Daughter of the Moon Goddess, which I have read, and that was February. Six Crimson Crames, which came out last year, gorgeous book. And Jade, Fire and Gold, which I think was November's fairy loot book. So I will be opening these up at some point, because you can never have too many playing cards, and I'll put some of these pictures up on Instagram. We've got an awesome cushion cover here. This is inspired by Ray Bearer. There you are. So we've got the quote on the front, and it's just plain on the back. The quote says, only one thing is more powerful than a wish, and that is a purpose. And that's from Jordan Ifikuro. I haven't read Ray Bearer, so that would be another shot. Thank you very much. Uh, no, I'm not getting pissed on YouTube. It's just not happening. But I love cushion covers, and it's been a while since we've had one. Um, so I'm really, really pleased to have another cushion cover. You'll probably guess what this is. This is a Circe Woodmark um, in its own paper. Back. Now this is really nice, This, unlike the other wood marks we've had before, this one's actually quite a thick one, so quite solid, but there you go, this is really nice. I have read Circe, which I really did love, uh, Greek mythology, telling you more about Circe who gets like one line in the Odyssey, so there we go, that's really pretty there. Yeah. I do like wood marks. Uh, the tarot cards, apparently we're starting a new set. So I'm not quite sure what I'm doing with the other set because I don't use them. I have just got them all in one of the secret boxes. I might pass them on to a friend because apparently you're supposed to give tarot cards. You don't buy them yourself. So I, I don't. It's one of those things. Um, so I'm, I'm think there's a couple of friends I can pass them on to. But this is the new set. I really like the artwork. Uh, this is the Magician and the Fool. And I think, is this Six Crimson Cranes set? This might be, I'll have to check. And that's the new backing, so we've gone for a black on this set, rather than purple on the other set. No, sorry, the tarot cards are from Daughter of the Moon Goddess. So we've got Saying as Fool and Wenzi as the Magician. I am really bad at pronunciation. So of course we have the Fairy Loop bookmark. I love these, I got all of these in a cup. I've only had one destroyed by my boys, so that's not too bad. Letter from the author, which is beautiful. This is the artwork on the front. There's the letter on the back. I mean, just absolutely beautiful. Obviously the fairy scoop, which has got all the in author interview stuff in here. I'm going to show you the book now because this is beautiful. Now, if you haven't guessed already, the book is The Girl Who Fell Beneath the Sea by Axie O. I have read XOXO by this author, so I'm really looking forward to reading this because I really, really loved XOXO. Um, but this is in a Fairy Loot exclusive cover, which is very, very pretty. We have solid sprayed edges at the top and bottom, stencil sprayed edges on the side. It's a gorgeous water dragon. 
they seem to have stopped doing artwork under the dust jacket which is fine by me because I never know which side to display but we have foiling oh let's go that side there you go and there's the spine isn't that just beautiful and then I love this feature the custom end pages so we have this is the front this is the back isn't that just beautiful and of course the book is signed by the author which is really nice so it's actually in a matching blue which is very pretty there we go so the girl who fell beneath the sea um, I have had my hands on an arc for a few months and haven't got around to reading it but I did know it was coming as a fairy loot so I'll be passing the arc on to one of my students because I know they'll love that um, but this is where I find out I have another main character name that I'm going to struggle to pronounce so I'm really going to have to go on YouTube and find out how to say the names there we go so we've got deadly storms an ancient curse will her sacrifice save them all for generations deadly storms have ravaged Mina's homeland her people believe the sea god wants their protector and now curses them with death and despair to appease him each year a maiden is thrown into the sea in the hopes that one day the true bride will be chosen and end the suffering mm. clash of the titans many believe shim Cheong, Mina's brother's beloved to be the legendary true bride but on the night Chiang is to be sacrificed Mina's brother follows her knowing that to interfere is a death sentence to save her brother Mina throws herself into the water in Chiang's stead swept away to the spirit realm a magical city of lesser gods and mythical beasts Mina finds the sea god trapped in an enchanted sleep with the help of a mysterious young man and a motley crew of demons gods and spirits Mina sets out to wake him and bring an end to the storms once for all but she doesn't have much time a human cannot live longer than the land of the spirits and there are those who would do anything to keep the sea god from waking yeah. The Girl Who Fell Beneath the Sea is a magical feminist retelling of a classic Korean legend, perfect for fans of Uprooted and Mayaki's Spirited Away. Oh yes, I'm going to love this book, aren't I? And I know, it's what, 300 pages this? It must be. It feels smaller than that. Yeah, it's 325 pages. This feels like quite a slim book though. I should be able to read that fairly quickly. And then sorry this is just beautiful look at that there we go so within the scoop now you know the book obviously the author with axio and then we've got april releases so sophia and the bone song the genesis wars hotel magnifique and the drowning summer and then how ours is different which is fairly obvious if you're looking at it so there we go next month's theme is bittersweet um, which will be Night Circus, Stranger Dreamer, Adi LaRue and a fandom neutral item. There we go, we're going to have two books in the box and an item they've never featured before. The second book in the box is a paperback edition of a Romeo and Juliet retelling. Okay, and the featured book of the month is inspired by Yorbria Nigerian mythology and follows a girl's journey of magic, injustice, power and revenge. Ah, yes, I think that's the book that's got trigger warnings with it, isn't it? Yes. Please note this book is inspired by real-life horrors endured by child soldiers and therefore tackles difficult themes. I can... I'll be fine. Um, I've read Poppy War. I can deal. <laughs> anyway, anyway, so that is the rather beautiful fairy loot edition of The Girl Who Fell Beneath the Sea. They are absolutely killing it with these books lately. Um, the box... I could say playing cards I have lots of playing cards stickers just don't do anything for me I just I don't like stickers at all and I'm a bit disappointed we've got yet another tarot collecting set I understand why because not everybody got the first set and you know some of them they're not redoing so I appreciate why they're redoing it but it is kind of like another set but I do like the artwork so I might have to get yet another frame um, to show off some of the art uh, what did you think of the March box? Let me know in your comments down below. Fair favourite item apart from the book? Going over the tin because I love tins. I'm a sucker for tins. And obviously the cushion cover because you can never have too many cushions on your bed or the sofa. Contrary to what the men in my family think. But there we are. 
um check out all the usual guffins in my description box down below so youtubers you need to go and check out my social media book blog which is neglected and as always thank you very much for watching hello all my new subscribers welcome um i promise i'll post more stuff regularly honest maybe <laughs> <laughs> and thank you very much for watching and happy reading be safe